Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this shape. Okay, which is frame guide part. It has letter D. Okay, it is a part, not a component. So we should open file, new. Here you will choose metric because the measurement are in millimeter and here we will choose standard part millimeter and then create the first thing we will do we will click on the home so we can see top front right side and here we should click on the plus to see the work planes yz xz xy okay so which work plane we should start with what do you think which work plane we should start with i suggest we should start from here like this so i will draw 107 here 107 and i will draw the height which is 41 so 107 41 and then i will give it extrude as 48 okay because I have this arc that's why if I draw the profile in this side it will be much easier than the top view or the right side view okay so I choose this one start 2d sketch okay now let's draw my profile first I have 11 here okay 11 I have 107 I have 41 so let's draw like this rectangle I will start from here like this okay now we will put the dimensions which is this one 107 this one 41 okay now let we have here diameter radius 30 and diameter 38.1 or 37.97 this is tolerances what is the center after 51 okay so we draw a circle don't draw it in the middle here can you see the green that means center or middle don't draw it here draw it any place here because i want to make dimension okay i will add dimension from here to here 51 okay so what is the radius we said here the radius 30 so the diameter will be 60 okay then here the diameter is 38.1 or 37.1 so we will make it 38 38 so this is the diameter here you can see the height is 11 for this area and for this area so we'll draw a line and we'll make the height 11 okay here the thickness is 11 also so I will draw another line here vertical and I will choose dimension from here to here 11 okay let's do the necessary trims trim 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 here trim here trim, here trim, trim. So my drawing here, I should not make a trim. Okay, so it will be like this, and here there is nothing. Here I should do trim. Here, here don't make trim, or you can make split like this, and convert this one into construction, so it will not be affected. So this is my profile. As you can see, 
this is my what's the extrude value 48 I will click finish I will choose extrude to the other side 48 click that's it now I will go to the right side view I will draw this one 13 and here I have center 25 start 2d sketch from here I will draw a circle it is in the center C24 is the middle of 48 so I will go here and I will draw what is the radius C13 so the radius will be 6.5 or diameter 13 okay the distance from here to here we say 24 we have a line you can draw it from any value you want and then we'll make tangent we'll add constraint constraint this and circle this line and the circle we'll add extent and then trim 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 okay I should close the line from here to here so this is my line the value should be 13 from here to here yes 13 now I'll finish I will give it extrude this one this one to the other side cut I will choose the value if I choose the value all the way I will cut this one so I will give it a distance I will choose value 11 that's it let's here we forget something here there is a distance 25 to the center here if you can notice that the center is very close how to modify it I will go here to the extrusion number two sketch number two right click edit sketch I will add dimension from the bottom to here 25 see this is similar now okay now I have two holes I will go add sketch here I will draw one circle I can draw another circle now let's add dimension the distance between the center of the circles are 22 and the circles they are in the middle so if this value is 48 so here is a line okay so the distance between here and this line should be 22 over 2 that's mean 11 the diameter of the circle 2 multiply radius 13 but this one the radius outside this is the diameter 2 multiplied by 5 10 so 10 10 and the circle from the center C51 plus 43 will be the circuit so let's do like this from here to here is 51 plus 43 and from here to here equal I clicked on this one it gave me the same see I said this one value okay now let's do extrude this value this value cut we can see all the way now we have fillet this is radius 13 
the radius 5 fill it 5 here and here apply here 13 13 this one and this one apply here we have hole diameter 5 the easiest way to draw this hole from the bottom start 2d sketch on this surface or this surface choose anyone let's say on this surface now I will draw line from this green to the other green okay and as you can notice it's 51 so I'll draw a small circle here and I'll choose the distance from here to here is 51 the diameter 5 don't forget to convert this to constraint so it will not be calculated okay finish extrude cut I will say all okay now we get this part if you want to change the color for the whole assembly you can make it blue so this is D if you want to add drawing engineering dimension file new and see create base do you want to save it yes frame guide all the time choose the front to be your main view let's say four three okay so this is three you click on projected first we click on base now click on projected to the top to the isometric to the right side view we do like this we can right click here edit view and choose it to be solid the first one and then add annotation dimension see here is the dimension similar to the drawing can add this venue if you have re diameter see like this case if, if you have this one radius I can do dimension type and change it to diameter distance from here to here is 51 and from here to here dimension should be all the time from center from here to here is 43 from center to center 22 this rate is 13 and this one 11 and that's it let's say edit layers go to dimensions and millimeter text edit text let make it 8 let's choose the color to blue save now we have the dimension become more larger you can change also the arrow head by going to dimensions display change this to let's say 6 5 and this to 3 
change the color to blue okay okay so now we can see the arrow okay so the total height is 41 the total width is 107 and this 48 is the total depth. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.